Hey, good morning. It is Thursday, September the 12th. And first of all, go to my YouTube channel at Positive Life Changer. Also on Facebook at Positive Life Changer. And please follow me on Instagram at The Positive Life Changer. You know, yesterday I talked about a subject about we versus me. And it, it's very, very important. And, and, and I hope some people watch the video and you got a lot from it and, uh, you know, and you learned something from it. I want to kind of expand on that a bit today. Um, you know, I mentioned yesterday I'm a huge sports fan and one of my favorite teams, as you probably can see behind me and in my office and everywhere you go, is Alabama. And there's a couple reasons I like Alabama. You know, first of all, yes, folks, I liked them when they were bad. Okay, I lived through the Mike Shuley years. For those of you that know anything about football, Alabama was bad at one point. But the organization or the school didn't change until they brought in somebody that had a different philosophy. And it was one of team. And it was one of this is how we're going to do things. This is the way we're going to do it. This is why we're going to do it. And if you don't do it this way, you can't stay and play. You know, and, and I really respect that from Nick Saban, the head coach at Alabama. And I've watched him on the sidelines and I've watched him when he's dealing with players. And, and look, you can see, folks, he gets mad. He gets irate. I mean, he gets flat out pissed. When people don't do their job, their specific job that they're supposed to do. See, that's what he stresses. He stresses discipline to his team. And, and look, any organization out there, any individual out there could learn a lot from studying this program. It, and it's all about discipline and doing your job. The job you were brought in to do. If whether you're a coach on his staff, whether you're a trainer on his staff, whether you're a player on his team, it doesn't matter if you're the backup to the backup to the backup. There's a certain amount of discipline that is required to stay within that team facility. Again, so that's back to the we philosophy, not the me. I promise you this, and I, I've never played for the guy, and I'm, I may be speaking out of line here, but if you were to go out and ask his current players or his ex-players, most of them would say that either you fit this mold or you had to go away, because if it was about you, you couldn't stay and play for him. And, and I've always respected that. And it's why he's the most successful football coach out there. And it amazes me that more coaches on the lower levels, on the high school levels, on the Pop Warner levels, even the college levels, aren't looking at what he's doing and just implementing it into their program. Well, the same can be said for us, us business owners out there, and in our own lives. Implement this program. See, if everybody goes in today and does their job, their job doesn't worry what Sue is doing next to him or Barry's doing over there or what John's doing over here or what Steve's doing over here and focuses on doing their job because their job is very important for the whole process to work. And understand that for the whole process to work, everybody's got to be doing their job. And if, if you focus on your part of the machine, the machine's going to run so much better. But here's what happens to us. We all get caught up in the bullshit. We all get caught up in, well, wait a minute. If I'm doing my part, what's he doing over there? And why has my part got to be this when I could be doing that? No, folks, do what you're assigned to do. And I promise you it'll take care of itself. And if all parts are working together, that's what makes the machine hum. See, that's what makes any offense in football go. That's what makes any defense in football go. That was what makes any organization go, is that every cylinder is firing on the same time. It's all going in motion. And folks, that's a disciplined effort. You know, and, and I'm, I'm sure Nick Saban learned this over the years. You know, one of his closest friends in the field is Bill Belichick, and it's the same way. They call it the Patriot way. And look, to me, all they're saying is, it's our way or go away. And that's the way we need to treat it, folks, in a business and in life. It, if people don't conform to the way you do things and they aren't willing to be a part of that and aren't willing to be a part of your success and aren't willing to be a part of that's going to drive you to, be, to make your company, your relationship, whatever it might be, go that much stronger, then it's you got to get rid of them, folks. It doesn't matter how talented they are. It doesn't matter how good they are. It doesn't matter how good looking they are or what you think they are. It matters, are they fitting the piece that's allowing you to achieve the success you want as an organization, in your life, and the list goes on and on and on. So I mean, really think about that. 
Focus on what it is you're supposed to be doing. Focus in on what your part is. You know, and I watched it. Look, and again, he doesn't, it's not like he doesn't get mad, folks. He gets pissed because people aren't doing what they're supposed to do. It's that simple. That's how simple success is. Look, you'll never hear me say success is easy. And I think any speaker or anybody that tells you it's easy is absolutely full of crap because success is not easy, but it's predictable and it is very simple if you follow certain guidelines. And one of those guidelines to follow is do your part. And if you demand that of your people, you demand excellence out of everybody. And then here's what happens. And it's a funny thing. The minute you start worrying about your job, the minute what your part of the, of the function is to be productive, then let me tell you what happens. Then you start demanding it of those around you. Because if you're going to sit there and commit to excellence and you're going to sit there and commit to doing everything you need to do to make this thing work, everybody around you has to be willing to do that. Everybody in your organization has to be willing to do that. And pretty soon you'll, have, you'll find people calling each other out for not giving 110%, for not doing their part of the job. Because it doesn't matter what kind of game plan you have. It doesn't matter what kind of vision you have. It doesn't matter what kind of dreams or goals you have. If you don't execute and go back and watch any tape or listen to any interview with some of the top coaches in America like Saban and listen to what they talk about. We didn't execute. When they're playing poorly, our execution is poor. Our execution is off. Guys aren't doing their job. That's how simple it is. Folks, execution is the key. Demanding that execution of the game plan is the key. And every one of us has it in us. We just gotta get into our own bubble. We gotta say to ourselves, this is my opportunity to shine. I'm gonna do what I need to do, when I need to do it, whether I like it or not, and to the best of my ability. Because as long as I do that, that opens up the path for this guy. Or that allows the company to move in this direction. Because without me, that's not gonna happen. It's like having a brand new car. You can have a great, shiny, brand new car. But if you don't put gas in that car, that car ain't going nowhere. Folks, it's the same thing with having a disciplined plan. You have to have the plan and then execute the plan. You gotta have all parts of the plan working. A car doesn't work without gas. It's just that simple. You can have a great, brand, brand new car, take the engine out. It going nowhere, folks, absolutely nowhere. You gotta have the engine to make the car work. Every part of the car is vital to make it operate. Well, so is it, so is it in an organization, on a football team, on a baseball team, it doesn't matter. Every component counts and everybody has to do their job. That's what you gotta be willing to do. You gotta be willing to be part of the team. You gotta be willing to do what is asked of you. You gotta be willing to not only do what is asked of you, but do it to the best of your ability. And then you gotta be willing to do what is asked of you to the best of your ability, and then to execute it every single time. Do you execute it every single time? No. Do you fall down? Do you fail? Yes. Do you miss blocks if you're in football? Do you strike out if you're in baseball? Yes. But you don't quit. You get back out there and you go back out and you execute it again. And you execute it again and you execute it again until you get it right. Folks, it's simple. Success is simple. You've got to have the mentality of the great coaches out there in the world because we all are our own coaches. Organization leaders, get out there and coach your people. Demand more of them. Demand excellence from them. Don't take the fact that you're gonna not do things the right way because the minute you start allowing that to happen in your organization is the minute you start to lose. There's a reason Nick Saban's won five national championships in nine years, folks. There is a reason for it because he demands everybody does their job from the, the bottom of the staff all the way to himself. Preparation, discipline, excellence, execution, daily, every single day. We're going to repeat it every single day until it becomes habit. Folks, we can do the same thing in our lives. We can do the same things with our relationships. We can do the same thing with our family, with our kids, with our own organizations and our own people. Folks, I, I want to win. I'm going to win. And the people around me are going to do their part to make sure we win as a team. Have a great day.